Hey guys, what is up? Um, I'm just doing a quick overview of the XM1 RGB and the differences between the XM1 white. As you can see, I don't have the cable on this because I plan on paracording it. But um, basically, I'm just going to go ahead and go through the subtle differences. Um, the one obviously being the color and the coating being quite different. Um, but there are some larger differences. And um, as you can see, I'm not sure if you guys are able to pick this up but the coating is a uh, oil magnet on the black version now. My uh, opinion is that it's quite good. It doesn't you know, hinder any performance or anything, but the thing is, if you look at this white, there's not a, a damn speck on this thing. It looks perfect considering the age that it's at. And um, you know, uh, another thing that really quite bothered me um, as one of the differences is, I don't know if you guys can hear this, but when I do my scroll wheel from side to side here on this XM1 white, there's a little bit of a click, which is obviously could be anything. Doesn't really hinder performance, as you can hear. It's a little bit louder. The XM1 RGB for me, however, when I tilt it to the side, to the right side, it actually activates the scroll wheel. Now, I will say this doesn't happen very much while actually playing, but it is possible that it could, and that's a little bit annoying because I have that set to my Discord key in game. So for me, I'm just constantly hitting my Discord key if I'm trying to scroll or even if I hit it side to side. So um, that's my only gripe so far that I've really had with this mouse. Obviously, the big one that people have been talking about is the grams. It's about 85 grams as opposed to this being at 65. I don't think it's that big of a deal, personally. Um, I've always actually preferred a little bit more weight, and especially with these big skates underneath, as you guys can see. Uh, before this had the four skates here. Obviously, these are off now because I plan on paracording this in the next week with um, paracord, which I'll actually go through, and I plan to do this as well. So... The big thing that um, I've noticed the difference comes in at is the um, button quality. I will say the button quality on this is much, much better besides the scroll wheel issue that is quite minor. Um, if you guys can't hear here, I'm gonna go ahead and go through the clicks. So this is the white version. And here's the black version. And if you guys can't hear, that's a much bigger difference. And I will say the scroll wheel is a lot tighter. So the scroll wheel does feel quite a bit better. Um, the reason behind this is because they use the GM 4.0 switches as opposed to the standard Kale or I believe it was Kale switches that were using this, or the, uh, sorry, not Kale, 60, sorry, Amron 20M, I want to say that were used in these before, or 50. I can't tell which one's different, but personally, they're good, but not nearly as nice as these GM 4.0s because I've been using these in a few different mice now. Um, but yeah, that's basically just the differences. The cord itself is about the same. I don't really care too much because the cord is perfect, honestly, on these things nowadays. In fact, you can actually see I have my old cord here from the XM1 uh, white that I plan on replacing soon. So, But I will be sticking this back into an EC series. But uh, yeah, that pretty much does it for the differences between the two. If you guys have any questions, uh, you can ask. But I've noticed like with the side buttons and stuff, there's really no difference. They're a little bit better on the RGB. Main buttons are a lot better. Score reel is about the same, honestly. Um, but yeah, the uh, only real thing that's bothered me so far is just the scroll wheel issue that's minor. And then on top of that, this coding is just not good. Wait for the white if you can. I would highly recommend doing that unless you really just want it right the second. Because as of right now, there's no replacement feet. So I'm going to have to actually heat this up with a hairdryer, hopefully, to get these off and be able to paracord it. You know, not a big deal, but it is kind of a, you know, issue. If I do plan to replace these or anything goes wrong, then I'll be up without this mouse for a while. So, yeah.